This is my favorite trick. It's the little things that count on the iPhone 10. I've been using Apple's flagship phone for six months now. There are some things that I really love, but also some unfortunate surprises that I hate. So if you already own an iPhone 10, we can just commiserate. Let's start with what I like. Face ID and touch to wake are two of my favorite things about the 10. They simply make the phone easier to use. And I love how notifications stay hidden until you look at them. I also love the huge display, even the notch, which I expected to hate. The bigger canvas makes every app a lot more fun. So much so that it's really jarring when I see an old fashioned rectangular app now. But what's most impressive to me about the iPhone 10 after six months of use is that all the gestures you need to work around not having a home button actually feel really natural. Using any other phone with a home button now feels inferior and awkward. Even the swiping gesture to unlock the 10, something I thought I would hate, actually feels so instinctual now that I try to do it on other phones where it doesn't work. This brings us to the no like part of the rear view. The front glass sucks. The phone started developing scratches as soon as I took it out of the box and it hasn't stopped. After six months, the front of this thing looks like it made out with a piece of sandpaper, which is weird because the back is practically flawless. Speaking of flaws, I've noticed that the stainless steel edge looks pretty rough when it gets mixed. On the space gray model that I have, the finish is just chipped off in certain places. My friend's white iPhone 10 looks totally fine because it's just made of plain old silver stainless steel. In terms of actually using the iPhone 10, I will admit the gesture system isn't completely perfect. I love that you can swipe the bottom of the phone to switch between apps, but I hate that it takes approximately seven steps to force quit an app. My other gripes are largely to do with iOS 11 being a buggy mess in general. The iPhone 10 is otherwise a super powerful, fun to use device, which costs $1,000. That's a dollar sign, a one, and three zeros after it, $1,000. So would I buy it again? Absolutely. Should you buy it now? Honestly, I might wait. You never know when Apple's gonna come out with something newer or better. And for iPhones, that's typically September. So if you don't need it, maybe hold off on the iPhone 10 for now. You should want it though. I bet you'll love it as much as I